talked a lot about menstrual cups on my channel and a lot of you have come back and told me that it's not working out for you, you don't know how to insert it, it's becoming too messy. So today I'll be sharing with you some hacks, some tips, some tricks that will come in handy if you're a first time user or even if you have been using it for a while. This will definitely help solve a few of your questions. So if you want to know what these awesome menstrual cup hacks are, ha oh, if you want to know what these awesome menstrual cups, seriously, if you want to know what these awesome menstrual cup hacks are, just keep watching this video guys to find out. So I'll start by telling you how to insert the menstrual cup properly because for a lot of women when they're using menstrual cup for the first time to just look at this is like oh my god how's that how is that gonna go inside my body how am I supposed to put that inside my body it can be a little bit scary and by the way guys before proceeding please pardon me if my hair starts looking off somewhere in the video my hair is behaving very badly today so please pardon me in advance okay uh, also what happens is when you're using a menstrual cup sometimes it remains folded inside your vagina and you never know but it can lead to a lot of mess so I'll just tell you how to deal with that as well now just look at this very carefully this is how I fold it everybody has their own technique this is how I fold it I just fold it from one side like this and from the other end I just push it down very gently so it works if you have a very soft menstrual cup the one that I have is extremely soft so um, when when uh, you are pushing this this is how the menstrual cup is supposed to look okay after done pushing it this is how the shape is supposed to look now look at this pointy end this is almost the size of a human finger not more than two fingers not even one finger sometimes actually depending on how you have folded it so this is very very easy to insert now this is your vaginal opening suppose this is your vaginal opening very gently just put this menstrual cup inside your vagina and you know during your period it's actually very easy because of all the period blood the menstrual cup actually slides in very well it serves as a natural lubricant right so it slides in very easily and once you're done putting the menstrual cup almost entirely just just hold it okay don't push it entirely just hold it once now at this point of time the menstrual cup might have already opened up inside your vagina which it usually will however sometimes it does not open up it remains folded how do you know that there's no way of knowing that but actually there is a way of knowing that what you need to do is checking my head what you need to do is you need to tug at it very gently okay we have not pushed this entirely inside right now first you're going to tug at this very gently don't pull it out just tug at it when you tug at it if the menstrual cup has opened up it will meet with a bit of resistance it will not come out easily okay it will not start to slide out immediately however if the menstrual cup is folded inside the vagina it will start sliding out very fast that means that the menstrual cup has not opened up so in that case what you're going to do is in case the menstrual cup starts to slide out very gently just twirl the menstrual cup a little bit okay just twirl it with you uh, with the stem as you twirl it it will open up definitely inside the vagina and it will fit in perfectly then once you're done doing that just push it all well once it unfolded, uh, once the menstrual cup has opened up, push it all very gently using your index finger and that's it. Now, like I just mentioned guys, the menstrual cup has to go inside the vagina entirely. There should be no ends sticking out. Uh, even if you have never used a menstrual cup before, I'll give you a bit, bit of an example here. Suppose if you have used tampons, have you noticed if there's a bit of tampon still sticking out of, the, out of the vagina, it can get so uncomfortable. Whether you are walking, sitting, standing, you can always feel its presence. So in the same way, the menstrual cup also has to go inside. And here's what I want to tell you guys. For a lot of brands, I don't know why some brands, they make very long stems, okay? So no matter how much you push the menstrual cup inside, there's a little bit of stem still coming out of your vagina so in that case what you need to do either get rid of the menstrual cup or if you want you can take a pair of scissors and cut off the excess however the problem with cutting off the excess is what you know you can end up with sharp edges okay and that those sharp edges can actually really hurt you and be a lot of discomfort uh, I'll put the link for the menstrual cup which I am using in the description box below this is from Namia Natural Skincare and I really like this menstrual cup because you know first of all it's also very very soft by the way so when you're pushing it in when you're folding it or when you're trying to open it it's very easy plus the stem size is perfect and it's medical grade silicone so that also makes it very good so I'll put the link with the details in the description box below so insert the menstrual cup entirely and if that is not happening with the brand that you are using just snip it off and be careful that you don't end up with harsh edges or just get a new one guys because there's no no need, need to hurt yourself down there so when the menstrual cup is inside your body okay it starts accumulating collecting all that uh, menstrual blood 
as it collects the blood, it obviously gets heavier. As it gets heavier, it naturally starts to slide down. Again, don't forget your vagina is well lubricated, especially during your periods. So it will very easily start slowly sliding down. As it starts sliding down, you will feel it. You will know that it's sliding down and it's time to take out the menstrual cup from my body. So as it starts to slide down, when you realize, uh, just uh, either either the stem will be visible and you can just pull it out directly. If that's not happening, if the, if the cup is down, but not entirely uh, easily, you know, uh, the stem is not outside yet just take your index finger okay and go inside your vagina just tug it in lightly and then pull it out like this so uh, just uh, tug at it like this and then just pull it out very gently once you start pulling it out you will see that this is where the menstrual cup is um, is is uh, meeting with a bit of resistance so what you need to do at that point just push down with your finger like this so that the menstrual cup starts folding in okay and as it starts folding in just hold it out and pull it out that's all you have to do let me just show this to you again either the stem will already be uh, visible as it starts to come down if it's not visible just go with your index finger uh, just uh, nudge it a little bit and then pull it out like this as you start pulling it out uh, press it down fold it and then take it out easily it's very very easy i know this sounds scary uh, however i will give you a tip if you're using a measure cup for the first time or for the first few times when you're using it try to uh, use it where you have access to a private bathroom because it can get a bit messy okay because it's the first time so you don't know how things are going to work out you need to find your own comfort levels so uh, sometimes it's good to have uh, access to a private bathroom with a shower and everything so in case there's a mess you can clean up and you can just be comfortable and once you start getting comfortable with it you can totally wear it anytime anywhere everywhere it's completely okay talking about how to wash a menstrual cup properly now this is very very important hear me out very carefully okay so even before you uh, wear the menstrual cup wash it very well and not just with water no no no, that's not enough please don't do that guys wash your menstrual cup properly so here i have with me the menstrual cup wash this is a disinfecting menstrual cup wash again from the same brand namla natural skincare you can use whatever brand whatever product you want but please make sure it's a paraben sulfate free product because uh, even if there's a little bit of this uh, menstrual cup wash remaining in your menstrual cup after washing it at least it does not harm your body okay so use a good quality good product because it's very important to maintain the right hygiene so you just have to wash it before using it and after you're done using it obviously just put it in a uh, under a tap of running water also you need to put this in hot boiling water for a while so this is what i have done i don't use my kitchen utensils obviously for that i have placed a special mug in my bathroom which is just for cleaning the menstrual cup so whenever i'm done using the menstrual cup i just put the menstrual cup in that mug pour some hot water clean it up in that mug and then i wash it again with this disinfecting wash so it's actually a very simple procedure it's just a two minute thing but it will really really ensure that you're completely clean and hygienic down there although by the way guys uh, one uh, important disclaimer i want to give you when you start using a menstrual cup uh, and you start washing it in boiling water and hot water it will gradually fade in color Last but not the least, definitely not the least, in fact it's a very important tip, uh, especially for first time users again, if you're worried about how this is going to work out, if you're worried about how this is going to be like you know, uh, a good idea is to start using a menstrual cup when you are bleeding very heavily okay when you're ble bleeding very heavily because this is what happens number one when you're bleeding very heavily obviously it's easy to slide in the menstrual cup because of all the lubrication number two when you're when you're bleeding very heavily the menstrual cup will actually collect a lot of blood very fast it will come down faster so your experience the whole uh, cycle becomes very fast so you're not like worrying for hours and hours and uh, most importantly if you've never used a menstrual cup before and again this is a question which i get a lot if i've never had intercourse before will i be able to use it well let me tell you very honestly your uh, vaginal opening it's actually designed by nature to fit in the head of a baby out of it okay that is how women deliver babies so obviously it is large enough to accommodate a menstrual cup like honestly if you put it put it in like this also it is designed to accommodate this also the reason why we fold it the reason why we try to do all of these things is to make it easier for ourselves to make it easier for ourselves to work it out obviously now here's the deal guys if you have never had intercourse or if you're worried if you think that this is not going to work out look for a menstrual cup which is small in size don't go for a huge big size menstrual cup your uh, huge menstrual cups are usually designed for those women who have had pregnancy i'll put the link for that also in the description box below if i can find something right now the idea is that if you 
you're starting for the first time and if you're worried, start small and start using it when you're in the prime of your menstrual cycle, when you're bleeding very heavily. So that'll just make things a lot easier for you for the first one or two times. And of course, once you start getting used to it, guys, nothing like it. It's very, very easy. So uh, guys, uh, that's all I want to share in today's video. I'll put the link for whatever I've used in today's video in the description box below. This Nambi menstrual cup is really good because I just find it like very easy to use, you know. It's like super soft. You see, when I pinch it down, it's super soft. There are so many, many menstrual cups in the market these days which are really hard. Like when you pinch it down, it's just kind of, it, it's very, very difficult to work with. So uh, yes guys, that's all I want to share in today's video. If you found this video useful, if it answers some of your questions. Oh, by the way, one last question, which I get a lot. Can virgin girls use this? Uh, well, let me first start by telling you that virginity has nothing to do with menstrual cups. Virginity is about whether you've had sex or not. And uh, here's the thing about having sex and breaking your hymen, guys. Your hymen can break for a lot of reasons. And I know a lot of people will say that's not true, guys. It is true. Please speak to your gynecologist. Please speak to your, speak to your doctor about this. A girl can break her hymen for a lot of reasons. Cycling, running, walking, just like that. The hymen can break for a lot of reasons. So whether you have had sex or not, your hymen can already be broken. Number two, using a menstrual cup does not take away your virginity. Virginity is related to having sex or not having sex. It's not related to a menstrual cup. And most importantly, um, I know in the Indian context, it will probably not make sense to a lot of people out there. But it's your body i mean whether you have a hymen or don't have a hymen whether you're a virgin or not a virgin should not be defining your relationship your love life your happiness it's very important for us women to respect our own bodies so to see us more than you know a hymen or a virginity cause you are more than that really you're more than that okay so yeah that's just a little something which i wanted to add on to that because i get a lot of those questions so yes guys that's all i wanted to share in today's video if you found this video useful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel turn on the bell icon for notifications and keep coming back to super style for more thank you so much for watching guys this is me Praji, signing off now <laughs>